Richard, I don't want to be obsessed with race, but uh, this is a different angle I've really never heard anybody discuss. Uh, can white writers write for you? You know what I mean? If they write for the human being in me, yes. If they write, right. if they try to write for some idea they have of what I would be as a black person, they usually cannot do that. Can you tell when you get a page of dialogue that they, they have a tin ear for what you sound like? Uh, yeah, I think that if they just write, if I get a script uh, just of a person, mm -hmm. I can understand it a lot better than someone saying, and it's black, and mm -hmm. he has all this, and you read it, it makes you sick. You know, when they write like that, uh, and I, I would prefer they didn't for me. Yeah. What would be a case of somebody trying to sound black? Could you give an example? You know, of like, uh, I mean, I, know, I know they don't mean any harm, but they don't realize how ignorant it is. And mm -hmm. Trying to, to have that black voice that uh, some whites try to do, yeah. that really don't do well. Like, why you jive turkey? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, why don't you get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Because they never really... It, it, I'm sure it's true of other... There are people like myself who do know what they're saying and could do it, I think is right. I honestly think I could. Or do what? What are you talking about? I think about? I could write for you in your vernacular because of... But what is my vernacular? Well, because I hang out with... Yeah, but what is my vernacular? What, what are you talking about? Well, like this hug is all in my yoke. Right, Dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you know, what, what is it? What is it that, what do you think I am? What do I talk like? Something? I, no, I, I simply know this, that when I, um... Explain I yourself. know that when, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know as well as I do that if you're with a group of friends you grew up with or something and a couple of Ofe cats come about, and, talk, and you want to talk so they don't understand you can, even as perhaps mm, people from, uh, like, have you, ever been, have you ever been in the Caribbean where, uh, where I'm just going to move back a little no, bit, Richard. No, I'm, I'm just no. trying to understand. I don't here's understand exactly, you. Here's exactly what I mean. In the Caribbean, there's a dialect that is English. It sounds like it's not. Pigeon English. Yeah, so a man, but they're actually saying, if you saw a transcript, the man at the desk will say to you, uh, good evening, Mr. Cabot. We think we have your room ready in just a minute. How did he go for my dialing and video on the other side up? Yeah, did he, man? And what he, yeah, what he was saying is, why don't you take that luggage over on the other side there? Why don't you take that luggage over on the other side there? Yeah. But he didn't quite want me to know that he was correcting someone or something. Mm hmm So, how the hell did I get into this? 